Do you want to look like you have a podcast or do you want to have an actual podcast? Because if you want to have a podcast, then you simply have to hit record and start talking. Hey, my name is Jenna Kutcher and I am obsessed with all things business, marketing numbers and helping you to navigate both the messy and the magical seasons of this thing called life. I'm a small town mama who took a $300 camera, grew a successful photo biz, and now I work from home and run a seven figure online business. I teach you the tried and true secrets to building a career you adore. Shy away from the real talk? (laughs) No way. Money, hardship, growth, loss, and marketing are all topics we discuss here. Think of this as your one-stop shop for happy hour with a gal pal mixed with business school. Pull up a seat, make sure you're cozy, and get ready to be challenged and encouraged while you learn. This is the Gold Digger Podcast. The past couple of months have been interesting, to say the least. I don't know about you, but I've experienced a full gamut of emotions, often on a daily or even hourly basis, from gratitude to grieving, hope to fear, joy for the little things, and ease for the unknown, and in pockets when I'm having a really good day or feeling this tugging desire to serve others fiercely, I get hit with this wave of inspiration. What about you? Have you experienced this at all? Well, I don't think it's necessarily for everyone to use a global pandemic to launch your next big idea. I do think that if you feel this draw to focus on something new and exciting, this slowdown season might actually be the perfect time to pursue it. Yes, productivity and progress look a lot different for everyone right now, but there are also opportunities to lean into the solitude of social distancing and to finally go for the things that have been laid on your heart if you have the mental and the emotional capacity to do so. And it's so funny because during these strange times, I've been keeping a tab on my numbers. And as many of you know, I offer four signature online courses to help businesses flourish. I have one for mastering Instagram, one for launching and scaling an email list, one for driving traffic through Pinterest, and one for starting a podcast. If you'd have asked me at the beginning of all of this, which course I would have guessed would be the best in numbers during this time, I'm honestly not sure what I would have predicted. Probably would have guessed the Instagram lab, if I'm being totally honest, because people are always wanting to show up well, especially for their audiences right now, or maybe even the list to launch lab, because I really think right now is a prime time to start and nurture an email list. So I was a little shocked to see the sales on my program, the podcast lab grow and grow far and above the rest of my courses. But then I began thinking about it. Practically the entire world is at home right now. And while lives are still really busy and we still have responsibilities, it's opened up the opportunity for some of us to have time to dream again. And I fully believe that all of us have important stories to share and all of us have unique gifts and knowledge and know-how and strengths that can benefit the world. And one of the best ways to get these messages out into the world You guessed it. You're listening to one right now, a podcast. I love that people are so interested in this pursuit because I'm a firm believer that there's enough space for everyone and we all have something completely different to offer. If you're interested in learning the details of launching and promoting, scaling and monetizing a podcast, we're now offering extended payment options for the podcast lab and all of my other courses too. So you can get started today for just $47. Head to jennacutcher.com slash business for more info on all of my programs and how to get started. That's jennacutcher.com slash business. All right, let's dive on into the world of podcasting. Come one, come all. And heck, the beauty of podcasting is that you can launch it at home with minimal equipment, especially at first. So if you're one of those people who's had this inspiration and this pull to start your own show, this episode is created for you today. I'm sharing the top three things I recommend doing if you want to start your own podcast, and they might surprise you. Are you ready? Let's jump on in. Thanks to Skillshare for supporting Gold Digger. Take the next step in your creative journey with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and more. Two free months of premium membership at Skillshare.com slash Gold Digger and the number two. Thanks to Gusto for supporting the Gold Digger podcast. Gusto offers modern, easy payroll and benefits for small businesses across the country. They were even named Best Online Payroll by PC Mag. Get three months for free when you run your first payroll at gusto.com slash gold digger. Number one, find your special sauce. The first step in starting your own podcast is to just simply figure out who you're going to serve and what you want it to be about. And I say simply, but really, this is the most important step and will determine the rest of the path of your podcasting journey. So while it's a key component, I also don't want for you to stumble into overthinking land where you sit and you stew and you overanalyze for weeks or even months. 
I remember when I planned out my show, I wanted to have everything figured out, like the right format, the right intro, the perfect publishing schedule, the right flow of topics. I literally spent more time planning and scrutinizing every single detail than I did recording the actual show. The important thing to remember is that nothing, and I mean nothing, is permanent. You can change your intro. You can change the title of your show. You can change your cover photo. You've heard me say it before, but done really is better than perfect. And if you can establish who it is that you're serving and what your secret sauce is that you want to bring to people's earbuds, then my goodness, you're good. I mean, you likely have an idea of what you want to talk about and what your ideal audience will be like, but really dig into your special sauce. What will be the thing that makes your show stand out? What's going to make listeners want to subscribe and tune in? What type of community do you want to attract? If these questions have your head spinning, I have a few straightforward steps for you to walk through. First, just scroll the categories of podcasting to establish where you could see yourself and even explore your own user habits to dream up your ideal format. Do you like podcasts that are a little more off the cuff and conversational, or do you prefer it to be more structured with different segments that follow the same order every single week? Do you like shows that have different guests every week or shows with multiple hosts so that it's not just the same person every episode? What topics do you want to talk about on a regular basis? And where would those topics fit into the broader landscape of categories in the podcast app? To help with this process, it's a great idea to start with your promise or even your mission statement and then reverse engineer the specifics. For example, if my mission statement is imperfectly empowering women to pursue their passions and build independent wealth, then my broad category would probably be business, right? And some of the specific topics I cover with that broader category are female entrepreneurship, marketing, money management, personal growth, women's issues, and more. That's why you'll find me in the business category and then in the marketing subcategory. There are obvious opportunities to pivot and evolve, but I have my general goal of my podcast through that mission statement, which makes all episode topic decisions so much easier for me to make. Remember to approach decisions about creating a podcast, knowing that you can pivot and you can change your mind or edit in the future, but tapping into a mission of your why behind recording is the best place to start. And spoiler, that can also change and evolve and grow too. Nothing. I repeat, nothing is permanent. We just need a place to begin. Once you have your category, your mission, and your goal outlined, sit down and literally unleash the floodgates for episode ideas and write down every single one that comes to mind in a giant list. One of the biggest things people do wrong when they start a podcast is that they don't think ahead enough to think of 20, 30, 50 shows in. I've seen it happen time and time again. Someone starts a show and they have all this energy and inspiration the first few weeks and then they spill all the beans and then life happens. And as is customary with inspiration, it fizzles out eventually. And then they start to wonder, what else do I even have to say? And with that million dollar question goes any desire to keep up with this idea that they were once so on fire about. This has happened so many times. I'll see people that I love launch a podcast and I'm so stoked and I'm ready and I subscribe and I tune in. And then a few months in, I'm like, wait, what happened to that show? And I go to click and it hasn't refreshed in a while. So here's an example to illustrate this. If I were going to create a podcast all about Instagram marketing, the tendency would be to share all the things that you know to kick off your show. But really, I wouldn't want to lead with an episode that contained everything I knew on that topic. Instead, I'd want to niche down each episode to be more of a deep dive or a specific topic about Instagram marketing that would allow me to easily record 10 episodes all on the same topic without running out of ideas. I could talk about hashtags or do an episode about IGTV, Instagram stories, caption writing, curating images, and more. So I want for you to be thinking a little long term here so that you're setting yourself up for success from the very beginning. Rather than relying on inspiration to keep you going for the long term, walk through a few important questions to make sure that you're ready for the commitment. Is this something you can keep going? Is the format you've dreamt up supporting that longer vision? How can I share content that will make it easy for me to continue creating? You don't need to plan out every single episode, but you do want to think ahead and prepare for droughts in your inspiration because trust me, as someone who has created for years and years and years, the droughts will come, but you can overcome them. 
Now, the second step, step numero dos, is to just do the dang thing, like sit down and hit record. And yes, this is step two. This is not a typo. I know it feels quick, but if you don't start now, will you ever? Like really, it doesn't have to be fancy and you can literally just start by talking into your phone and doing 10 minute episodes if that's all you're comfortable with or if that's all the material that you have right now. Seriously, just open up your phone, open up a voice note and hit record. That's it. The truth is you don't need a studio or the perfect microphone or a soundproof office. You just need to get used to using your voice and speaking to no one. I know it sounds so weird, but if you're hosting your podcast solo, it's honestly not the most natural thing ever. I'll be honest. And it's going to take some getting used to. It's probably going to feel weird and vulnerable and super silly at first. Just know that going in, you can embrace it and don't let that funkiness of talking to yourself by yourself stop you. I literally recorded my first 20 shows in my car with just iPhone headphones. So don't overthink this step. Allow yourself to be a novice because you are and leave room to mess up, practice and just start to get things moving. Podcasting is sort of like doing an internship to learn rather than learning in a classroom. As you record, you'll pick up more effective techniques and tricks and good to knows than if you sit and plan, plan, plan. It's just truly one of those things that gets better with time and practice. You can't read or think yourself into getting better here. You simply have to do. And maybe you're thinking, wait, did she just say she recorded in her car? The answer here is yes. And the funny part is I did it so that I could escape my dogs who bark at literally everything. And so that Drew wouldn't hear me recording because I was honestly embarrassed. So I sat in my parked car in my garage so that I could still get Wi-Fi and I hit record. I even brought pillows and blankets out to my car to try to reduce the echo. So, you know, I was like super serious about this whole thing. As someone who has started a lot of things over the years, there's this tendency to want to wait to record until everything is perfect. You want to have the most beautifully styled podcast graphic. You want to make sure your podcast name is perfect. You want to have the perfect studio sound quality. There are a million things you probably want, but the truth is you don't need them. Do you want to look like you have a podcast or do you want to have an actual podcast? Because if you want to have a podcast, then you simply have to hit record and start talking. If just starting and talking into the universe feels really weird and you'd feel more comfortable leaning on some sort of script or outline, look at the content that you've already created in other areas of your life or business. Do you have a blog? Do you have a newsletter? Even an about me page on your website that could be tweaked to feel like the first episode of your brand new show. Start with what you already have while you're getting comfy behind the mic. If you put recording towards the top, I promise you it is going to serve you better. There is a method to my madness because let's think about it. If you spend all of this time primping and perfecting and then you start recording, you're going to have an immense load of pressure and this unrealistic expectation for everything to be perfect and seamless. And I can pretty much promise that things are going to go wrong. If you plan for perfection and execute less than that, it's going to feel like a disappointment. But if you can let yourself jump in with an open mind, ready to groove and learn as you go, you can only go up from there. If you go back to episode one, I promise you, you're going to hear that you can only go up from there. And I'm proud of it. I really am. I cringe and I'm proud at the same time, but I'm mostly just proud of the girl that hit record with no idea what was about to happen. As you look to grow and scale your business with a team, systems will be key for both the success of it all and for your sanity. Trust me, when it comes to your system for filing taxes, running payroll, figuring out benefits, HR, and more, try Gusto. Gusto offers easy online payroll benefits and HR built for modern small businesses with all the management tools you need in one platform. Gusto automatically files and pays all state, local, and federal payroll taxes, plus the fast, easy-to-run payroll includes W-2s and 1099s for your team, as well as tools to manage health benefits, 401ks, and more for almost any budget. All of your employee paperwork is stored online, and on average, payroll takes just 11 minutes to run. Your oat milk latte will still be hot by the time you wrap it up. Get one more system in place so that you can get back to doing what you love and get three months for free when you run your first payroll at gusto.com slash gold digger. Try a demo and test it out at gusto.com slash gold digger. That's gusto.com slash gold digger. When you reach a pain point in your business, what do you do? Google the heck out of the issue and hope that you find a solution. 
There's no shame in your game. Trust me, I've been there. But I know from experience now that taking a class is the easiest way to fill the knowledge gaps that you need in order to grow your business. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. If you're uncertain about what's next, give yourself a creative challenge with a digital illustration class or dig into iPhone filmmaking so your next IGTV video is even more engaging for your audience. I'm trying to decide between one of the top Skillshare digital illustration classes for myself because why not give myself a break from numbers and strategies to get creative with a skill that also helps me create beautiful new visuals for my business? Explore your creativity and get two free months of premium membership at Skillshare.com slash Gold Digger 2. That's two whole months of unlimited access to thousands of classes for free. Get started and join today by heading to Skillshare.com slash Gold Digger 2. Now, step number three, the final key to starting a podcast is to create a plan to get your show into the ears and the hearts of those who need it. How are you going to be sharing this podcast intentionally with your followers, your friends, your subscribers, and so on? Yes, there are things that you'll need just to launch your podcast, like a cover photo, a show description, and an intro. But let me console you and tell you that our intro, it's changed three times over the years. Our thumbnail for the show, the same thing. I've changed it multiple times. Let yourself rest peacefully in the option that you can change all of those details that probably feel super important and heavy in this launch phase. It doesn't have to be perfect in order to be published. I am a part of a ton of Facebook groups where people are launching podcasts, and I notice they often turn to the group to get advice on which cover graphic to use between five slightly different options. And I get it. We all want to feel affirmed by our community and our peers in ways, and this gives us the confidence that people actually care about what we're doing and that the slightly more blue graphic is going to perform way better than the one with the green in it, if that's what the group says. But hear me out. Pick something that you love, and if you fall out of love with it within a year, you can always change it down the road. The biggest thing to think about is how you'll actually land in people's ears. Where and how are you going to consistently promote each and every episode? How can you get the episodes that you've worked so hard on into people's earbuds? Can you interview someone who will share their interview on your show with their following? Then ask yourself, in what ways can you reuse the content from current and past episodes to continue sharing them, pointing back to them often, keeping them fresh in your audience's minds? Can you repurpose a show to create a blog post? Can you share or reshare the episode on social media? Can you post the graphic on Pinterest? In order to get momentum, and this is important, you want to spend more time figuring out the promotion piece than you do the recording bit. Most people spend 90% of their time recording and creating content, and this is across all platforms, not just podcasting, and then they spend only about 10% of their time promoting. I think because of the nature of how we move through content creation chronologically from the idea phase to creation phase to the publication phase to the promotion phase, quite honestly, it's easy to lose energy and stamina and drive towards the end. But in reality, the promotion part is just as important as the other parts. Promoting can feel more like an afterthought when it's the last step in this mentally draining process of content creation. But if you can flip that and create a system for intentionally sharing and repurposing the content, you're going to be far more successful. Remember, what good is your content if no one is consuming it? Map out your plan for sharing and resharing and resharing and resharing and resharing and resharing your show to get your episodes into the ears of the people you've created it for. So there you have it. That's it for launching your own podcast and creating a structure for it to be a lasting and growing platform for you that allows you to lead conversations and connect with people in a whole new way. Also connect with people in a way where you get to be home. I absolutely love podcasting because it's given me access to learn from thought leaders and business people that I deeply admire. And it's allowed me to branch out, connect and meet you where you are, whether that's on a commute, on a run or in the kitchen as you cook your family dinner. It's just so cool to be able to talk to my audience, to show up on a weekly basis and share the things that I'm learning and that are bringing more value and insight and fun to my world and share them with you. What other podcasting questions do you have for me? Head on over to Instagram at Gold Digger Podcast and leave me your top podcasting questions on our latest post and I'll do my best to get back to each and every single one of them. 
And if you're interested in learning the rest of the real nitty gritty details of launching, promoting, scaling, and monetizing your soon to be new podcast, we are now offering extended payment plan options for the podcast lab and all of my other courses too. Head to jennacutcher.com slash business for more info to get started and to learn about how to start your own podcast without the guesswork and the headaches of figuring it out alone. Until next time, gold diggers, keep on digging your biggest goals. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of the Gold Digger Podcast. I'll see you next week. I'm over here giving you a virtual high five because you just finished another episode of the Gold Digger Podcast. Did that go by way too fast for anyone else? If you want more, head over to golddiggerpodcast.com for show notes and all the discount codes from today's sponsors. And if you're looking for a new crew of movers and shakers like you to bounce ideas and ask questions, be sure to join my exclusive community for gold diggers on Facebook. The link's waiting for you at golddiggerpodcast.com. 